Okay, let's hear it. One, two, three. Welcome back to On the Shelf. We are here. Wood Elf. Doody doody do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, he's still here waiting on us. He's sure. Like, hey, how'd you get back behind me when you just, uh, just what? jumped in that pit? That's weird. I saw you die. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. First try. Oops. But you didn't go kill the guy, so he's still just over there. Uh, actually, if you use the opposite magic on the whiz robes, it's a one-hit KO. Oh. Well, why'd you do the hammer thing last time? I wasn't sure. But the fact that <laughs> the he... Fuck? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, I... I guess it kept resetting his, his timer because I was hitting him and the wood on top of this. Oh. Uh, maybe. Maybe, baby. Good work, team. Get him down here. Nope. Hey, Marbet song. Yeah. It's the I'm now controlling you song. You are my bitch. Must walk forward. Must fly forward. Must fall off. Ah! Didn't hurt. I like how I, I hit the A button and it and was like... I told like, you to and I was like, ah, yes, flight. Yeah. Tree! Thank God he can just... Tree! Imagine trying to complete this level if he didn't have the power to instantly create trees. Yeah. Uh, unrelated question, uh, but do you think this tree will give me the fruit of might? Hey, look, it's got silly little faces on them. Yeah, and no, I don't think it would do that. Aw. I could sure go for some of that might fruit. <laughs> Hooray! Cool. Well, that was a waste. It sure was. Good thing we won't need any money later. I could have swore that I had to... Oh, okay. Damn, bro. We're one room into the dungeon. Listen, it's been since the last time that I was in this dungeon, which, based on the save files on this uh, Wii U, uh, was more than, like, six years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's only been six years. And we probably didn't make it this far. No, we didn't. Did we? We got to literally Ganon's castle. Did we? Yes. Did we? If you want me to stop the episode and go back to the... Uh, Did we? To the file select and then go into Ganon's castle and show you. But did we? Yes. Wait, bro, you're a genius. We'll just use the other save and we'll be even further. Yeah, except for the fact that that, that, that character's name isn't Squig. No, it's fine. We'll just pretend like the name was the other name the whole time. How will anyone contradict us? Video evidence? Nah. Yes. We'll just pretend like it doesn't exist. Plus, everyone will miss out on watching me do the dungeon. Yeah. Which, I'm sure there's probably someone who will enjoy that. <laughs> probably. Hell yeah! Direct blow! Ow. Well, yeah, that's probably not what I'd have done. Well, I, I thought I had to brush him to hit the stupid gym. There we go. Get fought. You're a loser. No one likes you. Not Ukraine in your great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I tell myself at night. Is it? No. I was going to say, you don't seem like that kind of guy to me. You seem like the opposite of that kind of guy. What, that I do tell myself that I, help, that I hate myself at night? Yeah. Uh oh. That doesn't seem very nice. Well, it's not, but it's, it's not like I want you to do that. It's just the vibe you give off when you say stuff like that regularly. <laughs> no comment. Is there... Go tack the blade. I'm trying to remember if... If you should push the button. 
No, because the button will drop the door. But there is that up there, which is a later thing. Hell yeah. Pardon me, good sir. Pardon me, spinning... Spinning think, razor blade of doom. I think it's hard to learn how to fly for the Koroks. Uh, maybe. It looks like it'd be really hard. Especially since they're not, like, particularly aerodynamic. Oh, no, this is the part. The part where he's gonna get jacked! Yeah, and not in the the way, like, Shigzy Mia Tomato. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, that guy sure is huge. He sure is. Bigger than our apartment. <laughs> that we don't live at anymore. No. Haven't lived at for years. We sure haven't. You haven't lived at for even longer. Yeah. Since you deserted me to move to your favorite place, Oklahoma. <laughs> it is not my favorite place. <laughs> No, I, I, I seem to specifically remember all all through our childhood, you was like, Man, I can't wait till I get to be a grown-up and I can go to Oklahoma. Then you are remembering someone else. <laughs> because I love Texas. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You don't give off those vibes either. Well, it just it's hard to love Texas sometimes. When a majority of its uh, citizens are like, we're giant racists and we hate helping the gays. <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> and the, gov or the Texas government is like, join the national power grid. We'd rather let Texans die in the cold, cold winter yeah. when they freeze to death in their homes. They did And I'm just that. like, man. But it was okay because... Ted Cruz could just book a trip to Mexico. I so hope he didn't have to worry about Greg it. Greg Abbott has to live through no power in the winter. Now that's not very nice, bro. Greg I didn't Abbott's say disabled. die. I said live through. Now that's not very nice, bro. Greg Abbott is disabled. Okay. So you shouldn't wish bad things on people that are disabled, even if they're horrible, horrible, terrible people. All I'm asking is that he lived <laughs> through a winter without power Fair. so that maybe he goes i should help my constituents out i doubt that that's the response that he would have me too <laughs> for some reason i feel like the answer might be uh booking a ticket to mexico yeah to me i can't say anything if i were ted cruz and i had lost power and i had a bunch of money i would also go somewhere else i mean yeah but also like he shouldn't be a senator if that's how much he cares. Yeah. I mean, I I agree with that part too, but just like his that's response. That's also part of the reason why I would never be a senator, and also I would never be able to get elected. His his response should have been to like sure get his wife and kids out of it, but to be like I'm gonna start working towards finding a solution to uh, to make sure that this doesn't happen. To millions and millions of Texans across Texas. Yeah. Instead of being a cuck. <laughs> hey, that is an insult to all cucks everywhere. Yeah, no cuck wants to be like Ted Cruz. <laughs> I don't know. There's probably some freak out there who's just like, Man, my one dream in life is to just watch my wife get absolutely railed by Ted Cruz. Well, then I hope they can find <laughs> solace somehow. I don't know. Uh, that that guy, if you're out there and you want to come on the show and explain your thought process, uh, uh, hit me up. <laughs> can't wait for... Sacred to jokingly be like, oh, bro, I'll do it as a funny ha ha. Surely even he has higher standards than that. Me too. <laughs> I 
Man, it's so sad traveling through this dungeon without our friend. Yeah. But I have to I have to get the long uh, the hook shot so that I can save him. Yeah. From baby jail. Hey, I remember this part. Me too. I didn't realize when we started Wind Waker that I've like apparently played almost literally the entire game. Yeah. I just haven't beaten it. <laughs> Which seems pretty wasteful if you ask me. Oh. I guess if you hit them with magic period, it's a one-hit KO. Hell yeah! Can't wait for that guy who was like, you know, you can shoot them with arrows. You don't have to use bombs on the, the eyeball lasers <laughs> to be like, Don't! Don't be calling out people that watch our videos. All, all I'm saying is I can't wait for him to be like, Man, you were wrong yet again. To which he'll be like, yeah, man, it happens. That's fair. But also, don't be calling out people that watch our videos. Anyway, we've been getting a lot of comments in, like, Russian or something. <laughs> really, really weird. You mean Cyrillic? Uh-uh. Cyrillic is the name of the language. Of Russian people? Yes. So what you're saying is Russian? No. What I'm saying is Cyrillic. Yeah, that's what I said. Russian. Cyrillic. Yeah, Russian. Well, you see, the thing about it is there are other countries that also speak that language, which is why it's called Cyrillic and why, oops, uh, why it's not American, but American English. Right. Because it's not like... But people in America, they just call it Russian. So if you want people to know what you're talking about, you should probably call it Russian. I don't know, man. It's 2024. People know what Cyrillics is. Do they? I mean, obviously some people do. Yeah. But also some people don't. Okay, well, it's 2024 and people are douchey on the internet about things sometimes, <laughs> like I'm being right now. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. And we should fight back against the powers that be. Don't let them take our language away from us. Call it Russian no matter what. Nah. I don't care if you're watching this a thousand years in the future and you don't even know what Russia is because it's been gone for 995 years. Yeah, you think Russia's <laughs> going to disappear in like five years? I mean, I don't have any way of knowing. I'm not a psychic, bro. Oops. I missed. I see that. P hat. Uh, oh. I want to stop taking all that uh, damage there. You probably want to respect my authority. You have no authority here. Pardon me, sir. I hate this control setup. There we go. We fucking got him. Too there easy. Too easy. Come on. <laughs> Show me some real challenge. I'm a little boy with an arrow. I'm, I'm shooting magic at you. Come on. I didn't know you booked Arnold. <laughs> yes, little hamster man. Your fat friend said, please, Mr. Schwarzenegger, come on our show. And I was like, fuck it. What am I going to do? Continue being the governor of California? No. Yeah, probably not. I don't think he's been the governor for a long time now. Me either. I might have to make another video about standing up to, to, to fascism. Yeah. Like I did a couple years ago. Hell yeah. Come on, let's do it. Good work, Arnold Schwarzenegger, on that one thing. Yeah. My father was a Nazi. Was he? Yeah, that, that was part of his video. Was uh, His father had fought for the Nazis and at the end of the war uh, was left a broken man and he would drink and beat young Arnold and young Arnold's mother. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Well, great. Now I feel bad for Arnold Schwarzenegger. Is that what you wanted? Crying uh, sure. We should all have empathy and sympathy towards people. But I don't want to be empathetic. And maybe if more people had empathy, we might live in a better world. But I like being apathetic about everything. I mean, me too, but... It's so easy. I'm just like, man, that sucks. Me too. Oh, well. It's just unfortunate that something in my brain is constantly like, you're going to be overly emotional about things. And I'm like, sure, man. You're the one with the keys, not me. 
you're in charge. I'm just kind of existing and, you know, underneath you. Yeah. No, nah, that's That's fair. probably a healthy way to live. Who knows? Yeah. Just existing while you let your brain control yourself? Yeah. I mean, I, I guess you don't really have any choice, technically, but... Hooray! We didn't fall on spikes! Yeah. I remembered the, <laughs> that this was a puzzle here. <laughs> Definitely didn't forget. Hell yeah. Crane never forgets anything. Yeah, hashtag Unutsu always forgets, Cranon always remembers. Yeah, I I don't remember fuck all. Except for all those times where uh Crandon forgets things and Unutsu remembers stuff. No, that's never happened, not even that one time. Hooray, more money! Yeah, more money that we don't need. Hooray! We really ought to go to Tingle Island and cash our money in so we can start collecting new money. Yeah. But we've only got one Triforce chart, and I want to collect the other Triforce charts. Oh, yeah, but they're super expensive. So that I... Yeah, but, like, we've got a thousand rupees, and they're only, like, 400 or something like that. Well, yeah, but if we cash in now, we can then collect more money. I guess. I mean, like, yes, that is the thing. So then I want to see what the issue is. Uh, apathy. Damn, bro. I think you and I need to have a discussion about how the world could stand to have a little more empathy and do what I say. <laughs> uh, watch me give this child brain damage. Hell yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay, never mind. Well, that was fucking lame. You no, failed me. No brain damage. But I got a key. key. All right. Our once per recording session, <laughs> the key joke has been made. Hell yeah. Man, how long until that gets old? Six and a half years ago? <laughs> uh, no, it, it'll be timeless forever. Yeah, probably. Like the Russian Federation for five more years. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh no, I it's don't know. a mini boss. How, how do you feel? Oh god! Uh, well, while you fight this uh, mini boss, how do you feel about uh, geopolitics, Crandon? Uh, I'm honestly not well versed in enough of it because it makes uh, my brain sad. Understandable. Pardon me, good sir. Ow. You're dead. Well, I died. This was a completely unforeseeable issue. Sure. If that's what you want to call it. Yeah. Well, yeah, because the only other uh, thing to say would be uh, that you should have known he was about to kill you since you pulled your bow out right next to him. Yeah. But that, that makes no sense. How would you have known that? So. I mean, I thought I could be quick enough to get it off and then roll out of the way. Right. But I was wrong. Right, because you which... spent so much time edging, you can't get it off that fast. And, like, we've all been there, so... You know, you made a comment during a recording with you and Sacred. Uh-huh. Or maybe it was just in the Shelf Discord that I did not agree with. No, it was during your Area 51 playthrough. Uh-huh. Uh, no. Uh, you don't edge me during this. That's not a thing. I don't do this for sexual satisfaction. <laughs> I made that comment? You sure did. I don't remember any of the details of that, but that sounds hilarious. Go watch uh, Area 51. <laughs> you should. But it's probably not going to get any more episodes because Sacred and I recorded more episodes and... Sacred uh, BS an excuse why he didn't want to do it no more. Oh. Uh, I'm but... sad because I was enjoying the tale of Crispy. Yeah, well, I mean, Crispy's dead. Crispy 1 is dead. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> in the second recording session, all the other Crispies also died. <laughs> oh. Well, does that, does that mean that they went back to, like, Crispy Prime? Uh... Probably, but Crispy Prime is probably like sorting out Area Fifty Two right now, oh. so he doesn't have time to come rescue us. Fair. Well, rip to Crispy. Yeah, the, the greatest of all time, or as the kids nowadays would say, the goat. <laughs> this yeah. is not the door I needed. Oh, is that the door where we got the key? Yeah. Oops. It was probably really obvious with the lit torches outside of it, and I just completely was like, nah! I had no idea. But I mean, that's not that unusual. We'll continue to have no idea next time! Mm -hmm. I'm on the show gaming! Yeah.